Today, we're looking at Krishna After Dark. Hi, I'm Adam, and I'm an ink guy. I get inks, test them, and share the results with you. Krishna After Dark is a blue ink in their specialty series line of inks. Before we get to the writing sample, let's take a look at the sciencey bits. Up first is the chromatography, and I agree with Vita that I've learned a lot by doing multiple chromatographies. The one on the left is done the way it's supposed to be done. I put a line of ink down on the paper, I put it into the water for 10 to 15 seconds, and I let the ink creep up. And we see that this ink moves entirely up. It is a true blue that does not appear to be super water resistant. The one on the right, I let dry for 10 minutes before I dunk it into the water for that 10 to 15 seconds. We see a distinctly dark, thick blue line on the bottom. So most of it stays in place and the rest does move up. Now it travels up the chromatography paper the same amount as the one that was dunked immediately, but we see that most of it stays in place. Resistance tests are done to see how this ink can be expected to hold up on paper and how hard it might be to clean out of my pens. I let the smear dry for three days before I test it. Now looking at the highlighter, we see that it starts to get a bit blurry. The highlighter did reactivate this ink and caused it to feather out and it would smear it quite a bit if you put too much down, so I would watch out. I would not use this for note taking if you're gonna highlight. The water test definitely reactivated and started to move. It shows it has no water resistance at all. The pen flush is most certainly picking it up and moving it off. We see it becomes a very light blue on that edge of the smear and bleach Given time, the bleach will completely remove it off the page, but I'm only giving it like 30 seconds on the page. I am not giving these things forever to completely remove them. I just wanna know what's gonna happen to kind of predict a result if I had to put it in a pen. Now this is a bell curve showing normal distribution. For the 365 inks I tested, I found an average viscosity of 2.5. Now viscosity helps us understand the flow of an ink. Normal viscosity is anywhere from 2.1 to 2.9. Krishna After Dark has a viscosity of 1.32. We see that is incredibly high flowing, a very wet ink. And being saturated, a wet saturated ink for people that like that, this is going to be a great thing to put a lot of ink down on the page. Now this bell curve is for the average dry time. For the 365 inks I tested, I found an average dry time of 17 seconds. Keep in mind that average means between 13 and 21 seconds. This shows it is one normal distribution away from the actual average of 17. Now, Krishna After Dark has an average dry time of 16 seconds. We see that that is well within the normal range. It is almost exactly at the median or the middle, sorry, or the mean, the average, right there in the center of our normal range. So a very normal drying ink, it just is gonna take a little bit. Don't rub your hands over it right away. To find the average dry time, I average the extra fine and medium nib of my writing samples on Clairefontaine, Tomoy River, and Rhodia paper. Now let's look at the writing sample. I got this ink in bottle form, and Krishna inks come in these tiny little bottles. And the thing about these tiny little bottles is they're just sometimes tough to fill from. They're not horrible, it's a neat thing but you're gonna to need to decant this ink very quickly into something else. And that's just the ink level is gonna to get too low. It's gonna to get too low too fast. Look at that. In almost no time at all, I wound up having to decant some just to put them into pens to write with. So it's a nice ink. Bottle's horrible. Bottle's tiny, it's like 15 milliliters, but it wasn't crazy expensive. I think I bought these for like $2.60 a piece. I bought them from India, I had them shipped, I had to wait that whole time for them to get here. Like a month after they got here, that's when all of a sudden that whole Krishna ink craze hit. All of that stuff aside, some of their inks perform fantastic, others mediocre. This is an ink that I think has a pretty good performance. So let's look at these writing samples. To keep consistent in my writing samples, I always use the Jinhao 159 with a Goulet 1.1 stub. I use the Jinhao X750 with the Goulet Medium. And I use a Jinhao X750 
with the extra fine. I think I misspoke and called the other one 750. It's the 450 with a medium, 750 with the extra fine. Just the pens help keep track of some of that stuff. So let's look at these writing samples. Starting out with Claire Fontaine. Looking at the back, we see no bleed. We see no ghosting. Normal stuff for Claire Fontaine. Occasionally, an aggressive ink will come after it. So if I'm coming up at the top, starting with the 1.1 stub, nice color variation. This ink shades. There's no feathering to worry about. This ink has a great shade to it. The dark, look at the amount of colors that happen with one ink, all of the different shades of blue. This is fantastic. On the extra fine, the extra fine is giving us great. This smear, that's me, user error. Very dark F. Nice dark the. Quick has some light spots to it. This is a very dark blue. The ink is after dark. Not too bad. Not too bad. We get some lighter spots. So this is a, a nice ink. I think this ink should go towards a the, the stub. I don't see as much of it happen with the extra fine or with the medium. But on the stub, on a drier writing pen, I think this is going to be great. Stand out. Nine seconds to dry with the extra fine. The medium, again, we get some lighter spots. Basically, it's very dark. And sometimes you get a light spot. Light spot, you get a little less ink down. Nice light spot happens. 15 seconds to dry with the medium. We see very little color variation that happens in the scrubby. Definitely could read this. If you smudged it right after you wrote, you are definitely going to be able to recover what you wrote. Looking at Tomoe River. No bleed. Not expected. It's Tomoe River. Ghosting? Of course. It's Tomoe River. Looking at the writing sample, not a, we're not seeing color variation. We see it on a stub. We don't see the color variation. We see on a stub a shade of blue that's slightly different than the shade of blue that we're getting on the extra fine. And the medium, definitely darker. So this is where you're seeing your color variation on this. It's on the nib itself as it goes down by how wet it is. It's not, you know, that, that nice ink that you get to just put over and see six shades from the same pen on the same paper. I don't really see this happen a lot here. I saw it the 1.1 back here, a couple spots, real nice, not the others. Tomoe River, nothing. But that's 16 seconds to dry on the, on the fine. So while it's a nice, dark, professional blue, it is not the blue that I would prefer to be carrying. The medium, darker, definitely richer color zero shading. There's no feather that goes on, but there's zero shading. It's very straightforward. Look at that scrub. Nothing. One color. Definitely could read those lines. This ink goes in. Despite that long dry time, it gets in there. So if we look at the Rhodia, looking at the Rhodia, we see we're going to start to get a little bit of bleed. Now, granted, that's on the scrubby, so that's on a heavier part. If you're putting down a ridiculous amount of ink, you might start to bleed through a little bit. No ghosting that we saw. On the 1.1, very little, very little shading. We see that there's no feather. There's no spread. There's a little bit of shading. There's no shading on the fine. Professional blue. Boring blue. I don't say boring blue meaning anything bad. I mean, it's just a flat, straight across blue. But look at the medium. That's almost like a blue-black. The medium is nice. A very nice blue-black. They got this out as a blue. You see it on the web pages, they call it blue. But in a medium, it definitely looks like a blue-black. I like blue-blacks that are not black or just blue. This is definitely a very nice blue-black to me in the medium. So when you get that much wetter amount of ink that goes down, wetter pen, nice. 19 seconds to dry with the medium. Absolutely no shading in the scrubbies. Looking at the smear, I could without a doubt read anything that I had if I smeared it with this. This was another one where I decided to go ahead and use that second color of paper. So I went to yellow just to see what happens to this blue when I put it down on a yellow paper. It does change it 
in the 1.1. But that green is very heavily towards the blue. Way heavy towards the blue. Not a tremendous change, but it does get slightly greener. Still 12 seconds to dry. No difference in the medium. The medium, the blue-black that came out in the medium before, definitely has control. Has real control on this yellow rhodia paper. No color variation at all in the scrubby. Without a doubt, I could read if I smeared this. So we're looking at 12 to 19 seconds to dry on this. This is not something you get to just write and close it up and go. Which brings us to a problem I'm coming up with on the Krishna inks. Now I've got like 30 Krishna inks and a whole bunch of them smear days and days later. This one does not. This one performs great. Behaves fantastic. Now what I have right here is when I ordered the ink, they had some notebooks on their page. This is hazel paper. So this is an Indian notebook. I said, hey, I'm trying an Indian ink. Let me go ahead and try an Indian notebook. So that's what I did. And it performed pretty well. There we go. We do get show through, but we get no bleed. But this is a pocket notebook sized notebook this came from. So to me, show through on a pocket note sized notebook is not the end of the world. It's something you're just jotting your notes down. So the funny thing is, on the Indian paper, I'm getting color variation in the 1.1 stub. I'm getting some. I get a very dark Krishna. The after dark starts a little darker, gets a little lighter, becomes darker again. The dark definitely has areas that are lighter. That extra fine, though, gives us a solid color all the way through. So if a solid blue is what you're after, this is not bad. This is a pretty good solid blue. And again, in that medium, look at that. Look at that blue-black. Very nice blue-black that occurs. I know they call it blue. That looks like a blue-black to me. Six and seven seconds to dry. Not too bad here. Nothing, nothing at all in, for shade in these scrubbies. Flat out, it is its color. It's nothing else. You're not shaking it from that. When, if you smear it, you can read it. Smear is not going to get in the way of you doing whatever you have to do with this ink. So that takes care of what we have for the writing sample. Instead of finding inks that look like Krishna After Dark, I prefer to find an ink that would complement its blue on the page. I have chosen Diamine Flamingo Pink because of its vivid pink color. Before I give my opinion on this ink, I'm asking if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. And if it's your first time here, I'd invite you to subscribe. To make sure I have a range of experience with this ink, I do the writing samples. I then put the ink into a different pen and use it for a day. I also put it into a different pen to take my notes for this video. Today I took my notes with a Delike Alpha with a medium nib. So what do I think about Krishna's After Dark? I think this is a very bold, wet nib. Not something to be used if you have to take notes and close your book immediately. But if you don't mind giving it a few seconds to dry, this is perfect and it's bright on the page. It's really stand out. So now the big question, would I buy a bottle of this ink? That's a tough question because it's quite expensive for such a small bottle. If that is not a barrier for, the, for you, then yes, go with it and get it. But otherwise, the, bo the bottles are quite small and expensive for your volume of ink. I believe that because of their price, there are other options that might better serve you. But if you just like experimenting with different inks and you enjoy their different properties, this is a great ink to get and a bottle worth having. Thank you.